Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to study more about the subject environmental biotechnology. So let's get started. So in this video, we are going to start off with water pollution. So pre in the previous video, I've discussed about air pollution, so you can check it out. Uh, in this video, I'm going to start off with water pollution. So let's get started. So talk about water pollution. So how can we monitor the water quality? So how do we get to know the water is polluted or is clean? So there are certain methods there through which we can monitor the water quality. So there are two methods. One is biological and one is chemical. So under biological, we have the percentage of biological oxygen demand or BOD percentage. And the other we have the pathogens or the amount of pathogens present in a particular quantity of water and chemical means we have lots of them such as COD or chemical oxygen demand, pH of the water, alkinity of the water, total suspended solids, total carb organic carbon and oil and grease. So these are some of the methods through which water quality can be measured so that we can tell whether the water is polluted or is clean. So moving on with this. So talking about what is water pollution in general as a clean definition. So we define water pollution as contamination of water bodies, which can be either lakes, rivers, oceans, aquifers or groundwater by discharging harmful pollutants di directly or indirectly into the water bodies without adequate treatment. All right. So as you can see a picture here. So the polluted water from the industries are directly discharged into the sea all right, or in a river. Also, the major sources of water pollution are, are domestic sewage and municipal water, wastewater, industrial wastewater, agriculture wastewater, construction site, storm water, urban runoffs and mining activities. And talking about some of the thermal pollutions as well, which causes rising temperature by the thermal and nuclear power plant mm -hmm. and nuclear and marine pollution through dumping of nuclear wastes. So these are some of the major or general uh, sources of water pollution which affect the water uh, in bigger sources heavily. Moving on with this. So talking about the sources of water pollution which can be categorized into two types as you can see on the screen. So there are two types of uh, water pollution can be categorized such as point source and non point source of pollution. So under point source we have uh, which is basically pollution that enters through pipes, sewers or ditches from specific sites such as factories or sewage treatment plants. So these are some sort of uh, pollution that enters through pipes, sewers, ditches or certain specific sites of a household or any other place such as factories or sewage. So this is certain point sources of pollution. I'm talking about a non point source pollution, which is also called polluted runoff which is caused by land pollutants that enter water bodies uh, over large areas rather than a single point. So this is uh, something that is very much clear and simple to understand. So point and non point source or so non point source. We have agricultural runoff, municipal waste and agricultural sediments. So which may contaminate the water bodies heavily through runoffs or any other discharge of water or discharge of polluted water into the larger water bodies. And this is point sources and uh, pollution may enter through within pipes or small regions. All right. So moving on with this, the water pollutants. All right. In water, uh, water pollution. So talking about some of the water pollutants, we have toxic inorganic pollutants and toxic organic pollutants. All right. So talking about the toxic inorganic pollutants, we have fine particles of different metals chloride, sulfates, oxides of iron, cadmium and acids and organic pollutants. We have petroleum, hydrocarbons, uh, jet fuels, motor oil and all of these. We have also PCBs such as polychlorinated biphenyls or organic acid. So, so there are a lot of pollutants as you can see on this screen, which counts under either in an organic or organic pollutants. Also under organic, we have detergents, plastics, heavy metals, chloroform, and certain sort of radioactive waste and thermal effluents. So these all count under water pollutants. So these all are involved in polluting water in one or the either ways. So moving on with this. So talking about the water contaminant sources. Uh, so sources and exhaustive survey. So as you can see, 
so these are some of the survey that has been taken uh, in a general basis so this has uh, this is a record from india uh, particularly from india so you can just check it out so these are resources based on nitrates pesticides industrial solvents and some of these factors and water treatments based on checking of aluminium dis uh, disclorination chlorine and order and taste also distribution based on sediment chlor discoloration abstors and order and taste and some of the systems that we have or some of the important uh, metals that may heavily pollute water are lead copper zinc and all of these so this is a basic survey that gets conducted out in india this is how the criteria is followed so it differs from country to country but in india it is this is how it's done so with uh, from this so talking about some of the effects of water body so now that we know that the water has been polluted uh, from any of the either pollutants that we just talked about which can be organic or inorganic or any other source uh, so what are the effects that uh, we as common people have to face so what are its consequences so first of them is the surface water pollution so this is a picture general surface uh, picture of a surface water pollution this is this uh, any picture or uh, this is a common picture that we generally see during rainy seasons or due to heavy downpour or sometimes in sometime in some uh, urban regions as well all right uh, pardon some rural regions or villages so this is a generally accumulation of uh, water contaminated with lots of other substances that have been dumped here all right so this is found on the exterior of the earth's crust that includes rivers lakes lagoons and oceans all right so this is the surface water pollution are uh, talking about the ground water pollution which includes agrochemicals causes ground underground water pollution and uh, next we have the oxygen depleted depletion pollution so this is the oxygen depletion pollution which can be either caused by any of the factors which or any of the inorganic factor basically which uh, contaminate the uh, sea ocean or rivers thus causing difficulty for the marine organisms to live cause the oxygen levels these are the all of the uh, as soon as the water bodies gets contaminated it leads to formation of different sort of bacteria and other sort of host mechanisms takes place so these bacteria all of them consume oxygen heavily that are present in the sea so uh, on consumption of these oxygen by these organisms uh, lead to depletion of oxygen slowly and steadily so thus the marine organisms that are already present in it do not get sufficient oxygen to breathe and thus they end up dying so talking about the oxygen depletion pollution which is the microorganisms in water feeds on biodegradable substances by utilizing dissolved oxygen in water if oxygen depletes anaerobic organisms grow to produce harmful toxins such as ammonia and sulfide so definitely as uh, uh, as soon as the oxygen gets deep uh, gets finished or gets slowly and steadily depleted it leads to formation of ammonia and sulfides and also as the water is already contaminated beforehand uh, it leads to formation of different sort of host bacteria and other saprophytes that uh, feed in the water with the help of the oxygen that is present in it so these are three top most effects of water pollution which can be surface water pollution or ground water pollution or oxygen depletion pollution environment so these die also and slowly and steadily become extinct in that particular environment and in the overall region also oil spillage so oil spillage uh, in the birds and mammals become coated with oil so as you can see the picture here and also the spelling is wrong here so birds and mammals as you can see this is heavily polluted as you can see the water is entirely black and birds and animals mammals become coated with oil also talking about suspended matter so some pollutants and particles and chemicals do not easily resolve in water and settles over and under water if it water it affects a uh, photosynthesis and aquatic life all right so moving on from this so talking about some more effects such as biomagnification so biomagnification nothing but accumulation of contaminants in a particular sea or lake and talking about eutrophication so this is a picture of eutrophication as you can see so this is nothing but a formation of algae on the top sur top surface of a, a lake or a river 
So in this, the high levels of nutrients or fertilizers in runoff water ends up in the water bodies. So lots of uh, fertilizers and water bodies uh, are gets accumulated in the lake and water bodies through runoffs, and they encourage algae and weed growth in the plants. So these algae are produced the green structures on the plant in the uppermost part of the upper surface of the uh, river or lake. It leads to formation of algae or weed. These consumes oxygen in heavy quantity, thus the marine organisms that are present in this particular environment do not get uh, a sufficient amount of oxygen and thus they die. All right. So this is one more effect, which is known as eutrophication. Talking about how can we monitor the water quality? So we just talked about all of that, we right? Uh, on that. So controlling water pollutions, how can we control water pollution? So we just talked about all the effects and pollutants that are responsible for causing and getting water, the consequences that we face in our day to day lives. So the, some of the controlling measures are control water by turning off the tap, avoid throwing water pollutants in water channels and usage of environmental friendly household products such as washing powder, house cleaning powder and house cleaning agents and avoid overuse of pesticides and avoid littering rivers, lakes or oceans and treating polluted water by using filters, biological filters and chemical active additives. So these are some of the basic points that we have been taught in our, our very beginning uh, as from our birth. So these are some of the points for water pollution and also proper treatment of garbage, sea waste and reduction, reduced temperature of wastewater, spread public awareness programs, participate in cleanups and proper enactment of laws by government. So let's just keep this video till here and I've discussed the water pollution, all of the effects and the preventive measures. So hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned and I'll be back with another video very soon. And thank you for watching this.